now, it's time for News from the Chin with John Z. Matthews. There is a gynecologist, Dr. Jen Gunter. She's called Twitter's gynecologist. Twitter's gyno. Yeah, she's popular. Should we have her on? I think so. All right. What does she do? Uh, Will she look at your pussy on air? Yeah, I think she'd give me a Will she open you up? She would really spread it. Uh, Put on her gloves and finger your pussy. Yeah, she might. Well, she fingers something. blown out pussy. I don't have a blown out pussy. You do? I do. Pussy's blown out. She's got a book, The Vagina Bible, The Vulva and the Vagina, hey. separating the myth from medicine. Hey, 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 let's get her ass on here. I'm with it. So I think the reason that I've come across her is because she's the kind of lady who was out there and says, okay, jade eggs, that's bullshit, that kind of thing. Jade eggs is bullshit? Right, so Gwyneth Paltrow, when she's pushing that kind of stuff. Oh, edgy. Jen comes out and says, no. No way. I say no to the jade eggs. I say, any yo, you throw some shit up in your pussy and squeeze on that shit. It's got to be good for it. Well, You're she's, doing exercises. She's saying, these jade eggs, this is a bastardization of kegel weights. So you're just wasting your money. Is it the same, or is it kegel, is it kegel weights or not kegel weights? Well, she's saying you're better off doing no-cost kegel exercises to strengthen the pelvic floor. Hey, 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 hey. Just avoid the weights. Now, inside of that, some other myths that she debunks. IUDs cause infertility. Not true. Do you know anybody who uses an IUD? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. It's fucking weird, man. Feels like you're fucking, and then there's like a... Someone clipped a toenail, and there's a toenail scratching your dick. That does not sound good. Nah. You know it sounds worse? Child support. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's valid. I think last week's um, White People Wednesday, I, I posted a baby with an IUD in its head. Gross. What do you want me to tell you? <laughs> Life lives. That is complete bullshit. There's it, no way. Bro, I got it, man. Go on onemorejude.com. Go back a week. It's a fucking baby. I said it was Steven Seagal as a child. Hard to kill. Oh. It's fucking... I can't... This. I'm so, I'm so not used to sharing the fucking... The uh, the studio. I can't get the, anything right in here. This is really throwing your game. It's kind of fucking me up to be all the way real with you. <laughs> but I'm not gonna let that f- throw me off my shit. Rise. No sorry, Bob. Rise above it. Keep on grinding. Another myth: the G spot is key to a good orgasm. I'm I'm with this lady. That's just because you can't find that motherfucker. <laughs> but she's saying, Chris, pull up, pull up where you're hitting the G spot. According to the Dr. Gunther, uh, there's no gland or structure that's separate from the clitoris. This is this is science. Maybe it's connected to the clitoris. No. Maybe it keeps going. But she's also saying these G shots, uh, the procedure where somebody injects collagen into the anterior vaginal wall. Uh, uh, uh. Sounds like he's hitting that shit. Tell that to a pussy. She's biting the pillow right now. I know. <laughs> oh, Chris. You can say there's no such thing, but. Oh, you're too deep. You're too deep. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you're too deep, Chris. Uh. <laughs> I told you there's no such thing as a G spot. This lady said so. She doesn't know. Fuck her. Bring her on here. Cause I I can get them to make a mess. I don't know what the fuck it is. But I I can get them to make a mess. With my Italian. With the pasta fagioli. You give them the old, hey, I'm Italian. You put your hands together like you're a fucking Italian. And you take out the thumb and then you go, hey, mama mia. <laughs> mama mia, give me give me the sauce. Give me the gravy. Mm. Another myth, hair removal keeps things cleaner. Don't worry about it if you got a lot of hair. Just trim it. I like, I like a hairy pussy. I do. But... 
there's been some pussies that have been so fucking hairy. It's, you feel like you're coughing up hair the whole fucking, you ever, you ever have dinner at someone's house with cats and you see them like walking across the fucking, the counter and shit. And no matter what, you just, you feel like you got hair in your throat. That's how I feel with hairy pussies that are too hairy. What if it like sort of creeps onto the thigh? I don't give a fuck about that. It's just, it's, if it's too fucking, that like the one that you're showing me right there where it's like super hairy all over, Oof. that's cool. Like He's th- he's throwing it in her asshole. Um, <laughs> how you going to have a hairy pussy then he puts it where there's no hair in her fucking asshole? Well, Whoa, just... her butt is fucking, ju- that, that pussy looks like a fucking car wreck. No. Did you see that shit? There's a lot happening. I mean, beyond the hair, dude. Like, did you see it? It was just gaping. Oh, he, he likes it. Oh, he's all licking her fucking toe. It's, he's weird. <laughs> he's all fucking her foot. Fu- like, a I tried to do that shit before. I ain't in the front. Like, I've sucked on a toe while I'm doing it, but it doesn't do anything. No. It's not worth it. Like the fucking risk reward. Like I got to suck on your fucking toe while I'm fucking you. Like it's not. I'm just like, oh, I'll just grab your fucking. I, there's there's way better things you can do. Sometimes you just got to grab them firm on the ankle. Huh. Okay. Just grab them. Let them know. Let them know you're there. Uh, take that. I'd probably get a little self-conscious if I had the legs sort of near my face. I don't know. I should try that. Y'all should see John right now. He's doing, he's doing like karate chops. You look like when Mr. Miyagi was doing, paint the fence, paint the fence. Wax on. Wax on, wax off. That's you. I'll try it out eventually. And finally, another myth here. Uh, most women can orgasm through intercourse alone. One out of three women can orgasm through thrusting alone. Yeah. You gotta... One out of three. That's about right. Okay. That's why we start with a nut. I start with a, I start with going down on them, and then we go from there. Sometimes they come more from from that. Other times, I fuck for a while, and I get them to come again off of the clit shit. You always start with oral. Ninety percent of the time, I start with oil. Oral. It's like a porno. I just want them to nut. I want to start off on. I want to start off on the right foot. I don't want to start off on the wrong foot. I've got to do that. Yeah, man. Like, yeah. yo, the the fucking pressure. Once you, if you start off and they already came, house money, bro. You're playing with fucking house money. You're one nut up on them. You see the world very clearly. Yeah. No, that's absolutely true. I I start off one like yo. I love to start off one nut up. It doesn't always happen. Sometimes the girls are a bit uptight or some shit like that, and they don't want to. You know, they're like no, no, no. Like, but I. Yeah, I'll go back once like once they get comfy. I'll go back. I get that nut. I'm like, you're gonna give it to me. Or you're gonna fake it. One of the two. All right, I've got uh, a new law over in Michigan. What's the new law in Michigan? It's become the first state to ban flavored e-cigarettes. Those son of a bitches. So you can't get your applesauce vape pen over in Michigan anymore. I got a fucking watermelon vape pen. Do you really? Yep. What the hell for? It's got CBD in it. Who gave it to me? Kyle. It's it's in your pocket. Whoa. (laughs) Right on the mic. Right on the mic. Smells better than what it did Uh, before. I don't know about that. Yeah. Before it smelled like fucking diabetes. Smell like death. Yeah, it smells it's, fruity. No, this is just watermelon. Watermelon. It's a crazy thing. Guys on the bus will sit there and vape right next to me. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Hey, bud. Get, get the hell out of here. Hey, pal. <laughs> and I'm a smoker. Hey, pal. What's your what's your major problemo? What's your deal? Comprehende, Chico. <laughs> That's not right. You shouldn't do that on the bus. You better ixnay with the ape ve. Pronto. You got that, amigo? <laughs> right. Comprehende? Hey, I'm in training. 
I'd pack a punch. Chatty fucking cholos in here <laughs> fucking vaping all over the fucking place. <laughs> kind of am. It's weird. Fucking death wish. <laughs> What is that fucking? You're falling down, dude. You're you're Michael Douglas. I'm falling down. Path of destruction across L.A. <laughs> Doubling down. Does that does that give you a rush or anything? Don't do shit. No. It kind of makes me more chill, but yeah, you know, hmm. just gives me something to fucking blow on. That sounded gay. Suck on. Nope. That was even worse. But so you can't buy that in uh in in uh in fucking Michigan. Michigan. All over Michigan. Is it just for nicotine or is that for C B D as well? Well they're saying Because uh, mine mine was C B D. Uh, well it's e cigarettes, so they're saying oh, okay. flavored nicotine vaping products. Um and because they're saying here that if there are these problems throughout the country where people are getting all these severe lung illnesses, even doing what you're doing over there. And then they don't know why. Because, I'll tell you why, because fucking half the goddamn cigarettes and, and the CBD and all that shit fucking sucks. They're just rushing it to market. They're, they'll throw fucking anything in there. They don't give a fuck. Right. Gotta be careful. Yeah. You do better be careful. I'm working on, I'm working us getting, I'm working on getting us like a uh, quality CBD thing to give away because I think like that's the next hot thing CBD will be uh, we'll just give away the fucking you know how they were you can't do this you can't do that I'll find I'll, I'll figure out a way for us to give out something cool alright not in Michigan well maybe we'll see I don't know but that's what gave me a head buzz. <laughs> but again, the kids, they're worried about the kids. Because at this oh, point. Oh, the kids, the kids, the vaping, kids. Oh, the kids. Vaping among high school students increased 78% from 2017 to 2018. Smoking went down, though, didn't it? Probably. Like, kids are going to do what the fuck they're going to do. Were you smoking in high school? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, like. Chain smoking? I started when I was 15. I stopped when I was 30. Whoa. Yep. 15. Mostly, yeah. I started off with, you know, I go through, a, I, I smoke a few black and miles every day. That was my thing. Like, I smoke a black and mile on the way. I walk to work, smoke a black and mile. Fucking when I got done, I smoke a black and mile on the way back. And then, you know, you got to freak them bitches. That was a black and mile. John. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, don't you look it up. No, no, no. We're going to play ourselves a little game. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner, raised in the Garden State, the corniest man in hip hop, Corny. John the Chin Matthews. Tonight in the red corner, hailing from pop culture known to anyone paying attention, it's the mighty slang. Welcome to Slang vs. John. All right, John, uh, what is a black and mild? I idea. Come on. Uh, a black and mild. So we're talking about cigarettes, and so uh, instantly I think of something that's kind of harsh. You, see, you would want it, uh, but it's mild. So, that's, so you're saying that black things are harsh? I mean, they, I mean, fucking racist. <laughs> I didn't know that I had a racist working on the show. You racist. That's all. All right, but so it's a black and mild. So yep. that's not the brand, obviously. Um, so I'm going to say that it is a. Uh, it, it looks like it looks like a lucky strike. Okay. Uh, and uh, it's a. It's it's going to be a little a little there, there's going to be a uh, dude I have black and mild I mean get, take me down the road a little I mean I it, told you I smoked one on the way there and back all right okay so so you say it's like a you say it's like a lucky strike right so there's there, there there's no filter on it but then it, but then it's not then it's gonna be mild all right then here's then what I would do is I would freak it oh jeez. What right. what is freaking a black and mild mean? What does that mean? 
that means uh, you uh, dip it in some malt liquor. I, I don't know. And <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I, I dip it in malt liquor? I mean. And then what, rub barbecue <laughs> sauce on it? Now, all right, and so, finish it off with some watermelon. What else, all right, John? Okay, all right, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to reset. Okay. Boil it with chitlins. <laughs> Stop. All right. So a black and mild. All right. It has a filter on it. You're freaking that black and mild. You're taking. What does the, that mean? You're taking the filter off. You're taking the filter off. Then what? And then you're gonna, uh, uh, you know, smoke the shit out of it. All right. <laughs> you can just. Just hit me with the... Just hit him with the buzzer. Hit me with the fail. You fucking asshole. <laughs> a black and mild is a type of cigar. Oh. And it's made out of... It's, they use pipe tobacco. So it's sweet. And it has a tip on it. It has a plastic tip. Oh. And when one freaks the black and mild... What what you would do? Which I don't. I wouldn't. All, one doesn't always freak a black and mild. You had to when they got more and more popular. You had to freak them more because they just was pumping them out more. They pump it out quicker. But uh, you what you do is you roll out. You take all of the fucking tobacco. You roll it out, and then there's like an inner paper. You take the inner paper out, and then you stuff the fucking. You put you put the tobacco back in the the casing that is a lot of work something to do you know you sit around watching a movie or some shit listen to music bullshit and you freak your black and mild black and mild so you, i could, I could you get, would you would enjoy a black and mild john so i can get one at the corner store yeah yeah huh. yeah <laughs> all right that was like old school shit this was this was 20 years ago i don't even know what the kids are smoking anymore but yeah Get you a black and mild. Well, they buy the black and milds and then they take out the tobacco and put in the weed. Yeah, now they use them for. You sure? Yeah, I thought they had, in backwoods. They like backwoods for that. Yeah, black and mild, bro. I will give that a shot. But I would love to hear John. If you do, go go to the store, buy it, tape everything. John buying a black and mild. <laughs> I'll take that black and mild, sir. Sir, what I can I have an African American and mild, please? I'm gonna need to look up how to freak it though. You don't need to freak it. Just roll it around in your fingers, just to loosen it up so it'll hit, so it'll hit right. Got it. There you go. All right. How the fuck you not know what a black and mild is, man? Every no Jesus fucking Christ. It's one of those things that just wasn't paying attention to that one. All right. So back to this thing that can uh, screw up your relationship. Yesterday we hit a couple of things that can toxify your relationship. Guess oh, like. yeah, yeah. We're, there's like 25 things. Yeah. All right, let's go on to the next five. I've heard this, but I really don't even understand it. Emotional blackmail. You don't want to do that. If you don't do this, I won't, I'll won't. i do that. Is that what that means? Guilting other people in order to get what you want. I guess. Well, I mean. I'm oh, like, yeah. Da, da, da. You did this, so now you need to do that. That type of shit. You fuck my sister Jan, so now you have to take me out to eat or some shit like that. That's stupid. Yeah, don't do that. Like, forgive somebody. You either, you either forgive them or you don't. No, uh, not. And if you're gonna keep bringing it up, all you're gonna do is ruin shit. All right, what else? Not respecting boundaries. Sure, whether it's physical or something less tangible. Yeah, man. But you also, a person needs to set boundaries as well. I guess. What are you talking about, I, I guess? You got to set your fucking boundaries, John. I mean, some some lady was on the receiving end of one of my late night texts, and she uh, said I crossed a boundary. I was like, Fleet. What did? What time was it? I don't fucking know. It's probably like 11.30 or 12. <laughs> and I said, what day was it? It was during the week. Okay, that's a little light for the week. No, I didn't think so. Have you put your dick in her yet? No. All right. I've known her for years. She's my friend. Or so I thought. And she was like, it's a little light for you to be hitting me? Well, her deal is she kind of projects her past boyfriends onto me, which is weird. So I think she was having a flashback or something. A drunken boyfriend or something. I would love to hear what you said. <laughs> Whatever, yesterday, for all of y'all that didn't get to hear, I fucking hit John super high, like, where can I get a hooker? <laughs> John came through in the clutch. I ended up going with Eros.com, but still. 
you know that I can't find my keys, so I had to go fucking, I, I bought a goddamn, uh, I bought a brand new doorknob. I'm going to put that shit in when I get home. Do you think she's coming back? I don't know, man. I just got so much shit in my fucking house that, like, I can't risk it. I'd be worried about her, her, men, her men rolling over late at night. Yeah, like, there's a, there's a lot of shit that can happen. Yeah. The good thing is they don't know the fucking door code. But I was at Home Depot today. I just dropped $40 on a goddamn doorknob and shit. I bought both kinds of the fucking screwdrivers because I wasn't sure. Get on so I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that later on tonight. Boundaries. Or at three o'clock if the whore is listening. <laughs> yeah. It was funny. We were sitting around with the prostitute, and I was talking about fucking other whores. <laughs> and she she didn't seem to mind me using the term whore. I was like, this one whore came over and blah, blah, blah. And she just giggled. She said, tee hee hee hee. Y'all are so crazy. Was she hot? Yeah, she was, she was cute. She was, uh, she was like mixed, a little red bone. Had a nice little ass to her. Hmm. I couldn't get my dick hard, so I ate her pussy and finger banged her. Really? I had so much E that night. That like by the time they showed up, my dick was done. And the worst part about it was like I wasn't even like feeling the roll or anything like that. I my dick was just like (laughs) it was just hanging there like uh. it looked like you. My dick looked like you. (laughs) Just sad and pathetic and just hanging there. Sad and pathetic. Skinny and bald. I look a little, a little dangerous. No, my dick didn't look dangerous. Look like a bitch, like you. Again, I don't look like a bitch. <laughs> On the bus, no one's saying there's that bitch. <laughs> Not to you. How you say there's that bitch in Spanish? Oh, man. <laughs> there's <a> right far. <laughs> but hang on a second. So when you're deep inside this, this... El Punto, uh, El Punto de. So, De habla de punta. I think that means I speak punta. <laughs> I speak bitch. So hang on a second. When you're eating out the the hooker, yeah, doesn't it occur like, hey, this is kind of a, a pretty well worn vagina? Or she was pretty new to it. Like she seemed pretty know, new. She to... seemed pretty young, pretty new. Like her pussy was tighter than my girl's pussy. She had a very tight little pussy. All right. And it was hot. And I gave her three fingers and I was eating her. And then I was like, doom, doom, doom. And then my girl came over and started kissing me while the girl was moaning. She was like, uh, uh, uh. I was like, you like that shit? She was like, yeah, I like that shit. Okay. Then I went outside and smoked some weed. Ah, ah, he esta esa perra. There's that bitch. Perra means. Ahí está esa perra. Ahí está esa perra. But perra means just a female dog. What about like a whore, a punta? Ahí está esa punta. That's now what I say to you. Uh-huh. Yep. Not a whore. How do you say fag? <laughs> you can say cabrón. Cabrón. Which is. Uh, Ahí está el cabrón. In in the back, you probably sit right next to the bus driver. You probably sit on the bus driver's lap. It says cabron refers to a cuckold. Ah, oh, the cabron sitting in the back. Look at that cabron. <laughs> I've got many friends among the uh, Spanish-speaking community on the bus. <laughs> hey, cabron, people. come here. Give me a dollar, cabron. Sure. What do you need? Ahí está ese marica. Ah, <laughs> fucking maricon. <laughs> All right. I'll put out my fellow man. What else? Bitch, I'm going to do what the fuck I'm going to do. Uh, Quickly, here in California, I don't yes. think you'll like this, but... Uh, I'm not going to if you said I'm not going to. Seems unlikely. But right. Stockton, they're giving away $500 a month to 125 residents who fall into a certain sort of uh, category just to help them out. Just giving them cash. Just to study it and see what they do with the money. 
makes them happy. So, and it's I'm not against that. Okay, I'm really not because here's the here's the thing with the fucking um with the welfare shit. I don't know how they do it now, but like back in the day, like you couldn't make money and be on welfare at the same time. So you had to make this choice whether you could be on welfare or fucking get a job. And a lot of times you're getting paid less from the job. But here's the thing. It's breaking you down. It breaks you down mentally. Having to get free shit from the government. Whether you know it or not, you feel like a bitch. Unless you're like, I don't know, some gypsy that fucking has twenty different hustles. Well, there's been there's been many there's been there's been some people from other countries that I've seen. I remember I was at fucking John's, which is like a bootleg Vons, which is like a Kroger. And I remember this lady was taking fucking forever paying with her wick shit. And I'm like, this fucking bitch. And then I was like, man, chill the fuck out. You used to be on wick too. Like, you grew up on wick. And then we walk out and this bitch jumps into a fucking BMW. I'm like, you gotta fuck her. Crash. Crash, you Russian whore. Crash, Russian whore. She didn't. So yeah, I'm fo- like, yo, if 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 it can help somebody get on their feet and help them like hustle up. The problem is is like being broke it's a bunch of shit. You know what I mean? They're just going to give these these po- half these poor motherfuckers are just going to take the money and they're going to fucking blow it. They can do whatever they want with it cuz they're fucking dumb. Well, Susie Garza, she likes it. She says, uh, I feel more independent. She uses it to pay off her cell phone. She off- feels more independent getting free money from somebody else. That's a fucking, that makes tons of fucking sense, Susie. You're not independent because you have to get money from my tax dollars. That It's private donation. Oh, is it? Yeah. There you go. Okay, I take that back. You have to get money from somebody else. You're not independent. Keep going, Susie. <laughs> Come on. You're, she's not. Call, I'm calling a spade a fucking spade. You're not independent. You you need to get money from someone else. You're not independent. Keep going. All right. I feel more independent. She can pay off her vet bill. She spends the rest on her two grandsons. How nice is that? She's paying off her vet bill? God, I hate this fucking woman. Oh. Fuck her. Having a fucking pet is a luxury. She's unemployed. She. Oh, was, look at that. Unemployed, she, too. She was addicted to drugs. Oh. But she's been sober for 18 years. But didn't never got around to getting a fucking job. After a stint in prison. Just fucking pushing out babies. That's just what we need. 20 more of her in this fucking country. That's just what Stockton needs. Fucking that shit. I was for it until you... That was the one. I'm glad I had to really fill you in. Jesus Christ. I'm like, yeah, it's fucking, you know, someone could work and it gives them that extra $500 so that they're fucking, you know, they don't have to like just be stuck on welfare, helps them helps subsidize their living while they get on their fucking feet. Nope. Some fucking ex-con paying for a fucking cell phone and a dog. You've heard about the Democratic presidential candidate, Andrew Yang, right? I'm still waiting for this bitch to get hit by a bus. Damn what? It. All right. That guy, Andrew Yang, he's... Oh, oh yeah, yeah. He's All for right. universal basic income. He wants to give every American $1,000. <sighs> okay. I mean, he's not going to win. Give me a break. But that's his plan. Look, th- there's, th- he's not the only one that's pushing for universal basic income. There's, there's a few people out there that are like that on both sides, too. Like, um, on both sides of the fucking aisle, they're for universal basic income. I don't, whatever. Like, I, I, I'm for it. I'm for it if it helps a motherfucker. But I don't think that that's the problem. Like, being broke, as a broke motherfucker, it wasn't just. It was like, it was a weird mental thing too. Like, I'd get money and just spend it on dumb shit because I didn't know how to fucking... I didn't know anything about saving money or any of that shit. It was always hand to mouth, hand to mouth. I remember going... I went to a good school, and my dad... We lived in the 
poor part of a rich area and I went to a good school and I remember going over to these rich kids' houses and they had like, you would go to their house and they just had like Pop-Tarts and Cheez-Its and shit. Yeah. And like- It's kind of depressing, I know. Nobody was eating them. They were just there. Yeah. I was like, so y'all just not going to eat them? Like, I couldn't even believe it. I'm like, they're just, yeah, they're like, yeah, whenever, yeah, whenever we want these things, fruit roll-ups, whenever I want them, I can just eat them. And I was just like- Ugh. This is fucking amazing. <laughs> Yo, if we ever got like if we got a fruit roll up or some shit like that, that shit was eight and that was, it was eight that like oh, and as soon as you got home, like them we was tearing through them bitches. That's that broke mentality. It is. Well, again, Susie seems positive. Yeah, positively broke. She's gonna stay broke. I'm all for that, but they need to teach motherfuckers how to, like, not be broke. Just giving them fucking money ain't going to solve problems. Money doesn't solve problems. We've already proved that over and over and over again. Solve a lot of money. No, John, it won't. <laughs> all right, fine. No, John. you. How long have you been wor working here full time? Uh, I've been three years with you. A little yeah, three. three years. Three years full time. And you're you're a drunk that doesn't have a fucking car. How that much just you think that make? finally moved out. I don't know what you make, right. but you make too much to not have a fucking car. I don't know if that's true. And to be fucking, you finally got your own place. And by own place, I mean your own room. Yeah. That a dog doesn't sneak in and fuck you. God, I'm on these group chats with the fucking rest of the people in the house. It's madness every day. Who left the door open? Where's my toilet paper? Shut up. Leave me alone. But edit. Sorry. Yeah, I hear you. That's what you get for being 40-something years old and living with a bunch of fucking 20-year-olds. Ugh. This kid. Doesn't that make you feel like a loser? Not when really. you look around and you see all these young kids that are just starting off and you're like... Well, I'm not saying I go home and I sort of, you know, throw up the horns and say, this is awesome, but it's fine for now. <laughs> it's fine for now. I'm, I don't... It's when you're at the bar, you're never just like, damn... I should end it all. Jude wants me to kill myself. No, just like maybe I should just like get a bottle, get a bottle of something cheap for myself and I can just chill and save some money. And Yes, of course. Usually these bartenders like Go to me. the SS Bounty, bro. HMS Bounty. Oh, that's right. I have to go there. I've heard about that. That place is cheap. It's in your, it's not, it's in your neighborhood. You'll dig it. From you and others. Yeah. Highly HMS recommend. Bounty. Yeah. Good, good dive bar. All right. Was that the good news? That they're giving away fucking money to <laughs> stupid people? Not exactly. All right. But I've got the little quick you got, for you. All right, give me some good news. And now, time for good news. So if you're blind, this is interesting. There's a smart cane that uses Google Maps and sensors to... Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It's always spooky when you see the people out there with the canes. I'm like, how do they do that? But now there's this little sensor. It'll warn you about objects. It will tell you where you are. Here's my store. Here's my stop. That kind of thing. Finally, Google tracking is paying off. If you want to hear one yeah, of the guys involved. Another of WeWalk's capabilities is obstacle detection. Hello, Embedded Gutler. in the handle is an ultrasonic sensor that maps the user's surroundings. If Hello. an obstacle is detected, the stick warns the user by vibration. That's pretty badass. Hello, I'll put it near my clitoris, <laughs> governor, and walk into a wall repeatedly. Hello. So That's cool, man. 500 bucks, though, so you got to drop some money. Hey, they can sign up for that fucking thing. Free 500 every month. They can have it in a month. Go to Stockton. Go to fucking Stockton. You might get stabbed. Shout out to the Diaz, bro. Stockton in this bitch. We got a lot of listeners in Stockton. Stockton like a motherfucker. Whoop, whoop. All right, that's the news.